We're tripling our solar collector area today so we can make tons of hot water. And I even had to make custom brackets to mount these up on the wall. Next phase is going to be mounting some more solar panels on the house so that we have more collection area to absorb more sunshine. Uh, I've tried purchasing a few different clips, uh, but I bought these at a garage sale. And um, these different clips that I've purchased online, none of them work quite right. So I made a, a few different prototypes out of wood to, so that I can hook this on really well. And now I've uh, purchased a bar of aluminum and we're going to be creating this profile and make our own clips. Each aluminum clip is one and a half by one and a half by three quarter inches thick and you can see how nicely it locks into the groove on the edge of the solar collector frame. Bill has given me a hand with these solar collectors. We are soldering on unions onto the stub outs from the solar collectors and those unions are what we're going to use to join the manifolds together. There are four clips per panel secured with five inch long stainless steel lag screws. We're plumbing up the solar thermal collectors today, and if you like these videos, please link, subscribe, comment, and share. Thanks a lot. Okay, so right now, uh, this is the lowest point of the system. The panels tilt to this. This is a drain back design, so we need all the fluid in these panels to drain down and back into the tank in the crawl space at night or whenever it's uh, not sunny outside. So I just drilled this hole and it's at a slight pitch compared to uh, this output. So what we're gonna do now is plumb that up. Now this rim joist cavity of the house is packed with cellulose insulation. So sometimes people think that's difficult to work with. I actually think it's fairly easy. Um, so I took this three quarter inch copper pipe and I taped off the end and now I can pass this through the rim joist and now I'm, I'm going into that cellulose. So I'm just tapping it and getting it out of the way. Okay, I think I'm, I hit the end where there's a mesh inside okay i'm inside the tank in the crawl space and it should be in this joist bay because this is four feet over from where the other one was so let's see oh, there it is so i can feel it just at the tip of my finger i think i'm actually pushing it in farther uh pushing it outside the process so as you can see i'm pushing some of the cellulose out of the way There we go. And there's the end of the pipe. And now this pipe is all the way through that rim joist. This, ri this rim joist is packed uh, about 14 inches deep at this location. Uh, so now I have to join the two together. Soldered on a reducer from one inch to three quarter and it has now cooled. The siding is the primary weather boundary, but behind that is my weather resistive barrier. So I'm going to apply some caulking now. And this is just some silicone caulking that I had um, and I'm going to start applying this liberally around the outside. And now as I push that through, I'm trying to center it on the hole, but that's going to start piling up. This fitting is a street elbow, so it has a uh, female and a male end on it. There 
go. Okay, so that's pulled all the way up and now I can solder these two joints. Well, I finished the soldering outside. I'm gonna let this cool and then I'm gonna caulk this joint. I have more soldering to do inside and then I'll also have all the insulation to do on these pipes outside, so stay tuned for that.